today's video we are going to talk about life size black bear alteration. Here's our bear mannequin. We're going to do a couple alterations. We have to take a little bit out of the middle to make it fit. We're going to take four inches off. This bear was 52 inches long while the mannequin here is 56. So we have to take a chunk out of the middle. We're also going to turn this head out 90 degrees. So we're just going to take and mark our four inches off here. Now it's our line here to cut. Now we're going to cut this head along a few different spots, usually four or five spots along the neck, just to give it that natural turn flow. head it's going to end up coming out something like this we just now have to cut the neck the neck in pieces and work it back to there and now we have the head cut off and we will cut this body and get ready to glue it back together. Here we already have it cut. There's our section out. And we will just glue that right back on just like so. For these alterations, I like to use Gorilla Glue. Gorilla Glue works really good on any alterations that doesn't really need to be filled with like an expandable foam or anything like that. We will now glue him back together and let this glue cure. Now his body is back in one piece, we want to lift him up a little bit just to have a little more angle on him coming up a hill. So that's ultimately going to mean we have to move these legs down just a little bit and we're going to bring this back leg up just a little bit like he's standing on a rock on this back leg. We now have our cuts made, we will lay him down and we will use expanding foam in these as there is a larger gap in between. Now we will glue the head back together. This is about the turn that we're going to have on it. We will disassemble it and then we will use Gorilla Glue here to glue this back and make it one piece again. Now that the glue is all cured and the bear is in one piece again, we will now trim it up and start to take shape back into it.
here's our finished bear mannequin here's what it looked like before and here's what it looks like now as you can see he's up a little bit more and his head is turned straight out on bears I like to use an artificial nose they're easy to install and save some time on the finish work they're basically you just mark them cut them and glue them As far as years go, I like to use ear liners, and this is kind of how I set them. You just fill your hole in there with Bondo, and you're going to stick your ear liner in there, and you're just going to hold it until that Bondo sets up. Yeah, it will. Sp We'll spray the bottom of the ear liner with WD-40 so that it doesn't stick to the Bondo and it just leaves the shape. So when we get to that point of putting it in on the mount it just has that nice spot to lock into. And you can see when we pop the ear liner out you can see where the bond is stuck so when we put this ear into the skin and try to find where it goes it'll just pop right in and we know we have the ears where we want the ears at At this point, we pretty much have our bear ready for the skin. That's all for this chapter. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the subscribe button. Thank you.